morning. We are leaving Vietnam today. I am just doing some packing. We are getting the bus from Ho Chi Minh City over to Phnom Penh in Cambodia. I finished packing and I've just finished an edit. There's like 20 seconds left whilst it is just processing and then we can leave as soon as that's done. We need to go and pay the hotel bill and then go and get some um, US dollars. I didn't get any yesterday. I was gonna get some last night but we couldn't find anywhere. Um, I think I explained yes. I explained yesterday that even though Cambodia does have its own currency, what I've found out is that generally it's US dollars that is accepted over there. So go and get some US dollars for Cambodia. I'm going to get our visa today as well. I think it's thirty-five dollars for a visa on arrival in Cambodia. So that's what we're going to go and do. Pay the hotel bill, get some um, dollars, and then the bus picks us up just around the corner here at um, a backpackers hostel. So let's go. Can you carry that little, um, your bag thing as well, please? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and that one as well. No. <laughs> thank you. We've just changed any dong that we had left into um, US dollars, and we're just at the, see if we've never seen dollars before. Um, we're just at the hostel that we are being picked up from. We've got like half an hour until the bus is due. So we're just sitting here on the floor, on the pavement, waiting. We have just got on the bus. This bus is slightly more expensive than other buses, but for one, it's on time. It is bang on half past 12. It's got a little socket here. Loads, it was a loads of space. Loads of leg room. We've just aboarded and they've just given us our uh, visa application form for Cambodia. So we're going to fill these out now. It's been a long time since I've filled out a visa application form. We have had such an amazing time in Vietnam. We've been in Vietnam for two months and two months. Yeah. We enjoy Vietnam. Yeah. It's been so, so good. I, it's just been fantastic. Really amazing, amazing country. And there's so much that we haven't done. Even though we've been here for two months, there's so many more things, so many more places that we could have gone to, and things we could have visited. Been fantastic. Right, I'm gonna get on with filling out this form with all our passport details and all that good stuff. We'll get a little, uh, Snack. Let's have a look. Have a look what it is. Let's open it up. It's like a little um, happy meal, but oh look, like a little cake thing. That's nice. Visa forms all done. So we are, we are just approaching the Cambodian border now. So we need to get off the bus in a sec when we get there. Okay, we're just going through immigration, leaving Vietnam. The guy on the bus kind of does it all for us. We've been off the bus, we have been stamped out of Vietnam. We're getting back on the bus now. We're kind of in no man's land, I think, at the moment. We're in no country. I thought that was a giraffe then. It is. Yeah, right, I know, but it's a, not a real one. <laughs> not a real giraffe. So we're back on the bus, that's our guy. I think he goes and shows all our passports and that to someone, I don't know. So we are back off the bus, we've just driven through, as you saw, a little bit where we got off and he didn't give them passports, he gave them some money or something, I don't know whether it was the visa fee or, I don't know. But we are now in like the duty free and this little restaurant, we're just getting some fries. We're just stopping here for about 20 minutes or so. We haven't got our passports, this whole process is a bit odd. Like if I hadn't have looked it up online before, I'd have been like, uh, no, because like, as soon as you got on the bus, you hand over your passports to the bus guy and whatever, and he's still got our passports now. Um, but it's kind of just that's what they do, they just take all of our passports from the people on the bus, he does it all together, which is obviously like what they've arranged, like he takes into immigration and everything. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna eat our fries and then head back out onto the bus and then go through into Cambodia, I'm assuming. Our fries has arrived with some token bit of lettuce for some reason. <laughs> eat it, eat it. Dip it in ketchup. 
nice. Whilst we've been sat here eating our fries, our bus guy has just come to us and we're just trying to cover any details. He's given us our passports back. Here we go, we have got our Cambodian visas. We are allowed in there until 27th of December. Time's up, we're getting back on the bus. Okay. Back off the bus now to get our passports checked. Off the bus, had to walk through the border ourselves, present our passport, get our passport stamped. And we're all done now, I think. I reckon we've got about an hour or so left. We've just stopped off. We're having a toilet break. We've just been to the toilet, so the toilets were gross again. You kind of just get used to it. gross toilets, but never mind. We have a problem in that since we have got into Cambodia we have lost Wi-Fi. We had quite good Wi-Fi on the bus. Since we got in Cambodia we've lost the Wi-Fi on the bus. Obviously it doesn't work um, in Cambodia. And also I obviously haven't got a Cambodian SIM card. My Vietnamese SIM card obviously doesn't work in Cambodia. So we've got no internet whatsoever at the moment. We're coping though. First world problems. You had me at hello. Oh, Sightseeing, I'm seeing it all by the bus. Wow. Well, this is all I've seen so far, but <laughs> it's like a little fountain. Oh, look at all those trees. Oh, aren't they pretty? Is it a statue of some king or another? I can't really see. They believe in sharing their bikes here. I think, oh my god, look at that kid. He's got the gigs on. Did <laughs> you see that kid? <laughs> She's got sunglasses on. <laughs> look at them. There's like four there. They definitely share their bikes here. You don't see more. There's one on, no. Look, that one's the best. There's oh, you can only see four of them. There's five on that one there. Oh, they've gone. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah. Mm. We've arrived, we're here, off the bus. We just got chatting to some lovely Cambodians on the bus who thought that I was Stephen's um, older sister. Good, didn't they? Yeah. They were like, is this because they had a little baby with them? So I was chatting, the baby was so good, like for seven hours on the bus. So I got chatting to them. And, um, and they said, this your, um, this your brother? And I was like, no, it's my son. She's like, wow, how old are you? Maybe I'm looking young today, I don't know. Anyway, we have got a short walk, the river is just behind us there. We've got a short walk along the river to our hotel. Not far at all, maybe five, ten minutes. Not too bad, although it does feel a little bit longer <laughs> when you're wearing these big bags, doesn't it, Stephen? Yep. I'm kind of liking Nom, nom Pen, is that how you yeah. say it? I think so. Um, so far, although we've not like done anything, obviously, just like the drive through. It looks really cool and I was saying to Stephen I think I'm going to want to stay longer than we are staying because we are literally stopping her here oh, doing um, doing the toy things and 
going because we haven't got time to hang around because of like future plans for things. Just get into the room, it's a huge big room, look at it. Massive, I think we paid, well we put two nights and we paid $27, so it's like $13, $13 a night. It's huge. We've just got one, one double bed. Um, let's have a little look. It's long. Bathroom, it's long. <laughs> it's long and thin bathroom. It is. TV, we've got no fridge unfortunately. Rooms here didn't seem to do fridge. It's weird, it's like either, whatever city or whatever place you're looking at, they either do things or they don't. And uh, most rooms didn't, or most sort of rooms at our price range, <laughs> cheap, uh, didn't, um, didn't do fridges, so I think we're just gonna relax, like we've dumped the bags and whatever. Then we're gonna go out, buy some drinks and stuff, and do it. I'm gonna pay for the hotel, because apparently we paid for the hotel before. In Vietnam, you always pay for the rooms as you leave, but in China and Hong Kong, you paid as you arrived. And here, I'm assuming you pay as you arrive as well. Oh, my shoulders are killing me, I have to carry it in those bags. Oh, right. Yeah. Just at the ATM, getting some dollars. Oh, it gave me $200 bills, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we are out of our hotel. We're just going to this Panda Mart here. I've just been speaking to the guy at our hotel. He's so nice. Um, I've been speaking to him about where I can get a SIM card from and he has directed me to Panda Mart. So we're gonna get a SIM card, a Cambodian SIM card for my phone. It actually is Panda Mart. He said, like the animal, and it really is like the animal, Panda Mart. Okay, well that was a fail. They did not sell SIM cards in Panda Mart. He lied to me, but they sent me somewhere else. Somewhere else on a corner over here. Bet you they're not Bet you they don't either. I might just leave it till the morning. But this is just what you need after seven hours on a bus. Stephen's made some new mates and I'm having a beer. Perfect. We've had our little drink downstairs. It's so nice when you've got a restaurant place attached to your hotel. Isn't it nice? What? When we've got a restaurant like, attached to our hotel, like somewhere where you can go and like just sit and have a drink. Like when you come back from your apartment after a, a day out or whatever, and then like we come upstairs to our room and like I'm sitting editing and doing work and stuff. And it's just like to do that like, in your room all the time is just really crappy. Like to have somewhere you can just sit downstairs and have a drink or whatever and do the work. It's really nice, so I'm glad that we've got like a little restaurant downstairs. We are gonna go to, I was gonna say have it any night, but I think it's about 10 o'clock now. Um, but reasonably early night. I've got a little bit of work to do, a little bit of research left to do this evening and then go to sleep because we've got a busy, busy day tomorrow. Sightseeing all around Phnom Penh. I think that is our possibly our only day that we are staying here. But like I said before, I think I would really like it here and I would like to spend more time here but I just don't think it's going to be possible. But never mind. But I'm so excited to be in Cambodia, new country. Oh, the currency. I'll show you tomorrow the currency. In fact, no, let me get it out now. So, currency wise, my per right, that's dong. I can get rid of Vietnamese dong. Now I've just got a couple of couple of thousand dong that are no use anymore. Um, but the currency, so you pay in your dollars, and then if there's anything less than a dollar, they give you change back in their currency, which is, what's it called? Cro cron? Something like that. I don't know, I've, that's really ignorant of me, but I don't know what it is. But there is 4,000 of these to one dollar. And so it's just really confusing, like on the bills and everything, there's a dollar price and a Cambodian currency price. And then like you pay, like in the shop before, I paid with dollars and I got like 33 cents back, or 33 cents back, back in, these notes and it, I can see that this is just going to get really confusing like using two currencies I think it's a shame they should just use their own currency like I know it's like 4,000 saying that I'm going to say like 4,000 to a dollar it can get like quite confusing but Vietnam had what 20,000 20 21,000 or something to a dollar so yeah it's a sh kind of a shame that they use dollars they should just use their own currency anyway I'm going now, so I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you've done, we have had a wonderful day, haven't we? <laughs> no, we've been on a bus all day. <laughs> we've been on a bus, you look shattered, this one looks really too tired. Right, thanks for watching, see you guys tomorrow, bye!